Brothers, Pakistan Awami Tehreek is a very peaceful organization of Pakistan. We want to progress and very democratically and within the jurisdictions of the law. We want to promote, progress and struggle for the rights of this nation, for the rights of the poor people of Pakistan, very much under the, under the constitution of Pakistan and within the law as prescribed in the Penal Code of Pakistan, we want to proceed with our justified and very much lawful struggle for the betterment of the people. We have never in the past 33 years of our struggle ever challenged the law or done ex anything which is extrajudicial or above the constitution of Pakistan. Pak people of Pakistan have all the right to conduct this struggle against coercion, against corruption, against malpractices so that the people of Pakistan can get their rightful and deserved rights and benefits which have been extorted and taken away by the murderous regime of Pakistan at present. We are not challenging the regime. We are not doing anything extra judicial. We are not bringing the mobs out on the streets to create any anarchy on the roads of Islamabad, Lahore and the Punjab. We just want peaceful people to come to the roads and peacefully demonstrate and receive their leader. This is our message to the government of Pakistan that because we are not doing anything extra judicial, we are not creating any law and order situation on the roads in Pakistan, we would expect the government to behave according to the democratic norms and values that they have always been claiming. And the warning is that if they step over that red line that they have themselves drawn a few, year, few days back in, Mina, in the model town Minhajul Quran Secretariat, if they cross that red line, then this is a warning for the present government that we will, have, we will lose the control over the masses and general public and we will not be responsible for whatever happens after then. As Kaiser Chishti Saab, the media secretary, said earlier, that if this line is drawn, if this, if this red line is stepped over, then the government itself will be responsible for whatever happens after that. What bloodshed will happen? How many properties will be burnt? How many lives will be lost? Whatever happens after that will be the sole responsibility of the government of Pakistan. And that's a clear message that they should understand. If the plane of Dr. Tahrir Qadri is diverted, if he is apprehended or abducted, by any illegal means, we reserve the right to close down major cities of Pakistan and this backlash and this reaction of public will, will be the responsibility, the sole responsibility of the government and its, uh, and its extra judicial measures that it will take and that it has been saying that it will take. Thank you. Al Qadri going to Pakistan. And if the untoward situation arises, what will be the reaction of the Pakistan Awami Tehreek here in the UK? So Pakistan Awami Tehreek, as we said, that we will demonstrate the whole of Europe um, will be out on the high commissions of Pakistan, on the consulates of Pakistan. We are already in touch with Amnesty International, with all the United Nations organizations, organizations, the NGOs, um, the all uh, other organizations and other media, for example, BBC, CNN, all organizations all across the world who are the champions of human rights, who understand what human rights are, if anything happens in Pakistan, we will create an international pressure that Pakistan government would really struggle to bear. We will create an international pressure that the Pakistan government will not be able to, 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 to persevere with. That is, that is the thing that they have to understand, that if they do anything extrajudicial, then it will not, it not only be the Pakistan that obviously they have full control of, there will be an international backlash.